Morecambe is a vibrant town with a rich cultural history that aims to become a town of festivals. Current events are spanning from poetry to music, with nothing dedicated to the medium of film. Bringing a brand new film festival to Morecambe will provide a new cultural offering for the local community and fill the gap in the town's cultural scene. Film audiences differ in many respects from other audiences, be that open air festivals at the Bay or music and theatre festivals. Appealing to a variety of different people, a homegrown film festival will play a crucial role in filling the gap in independent cinema's accessibility to local audiences. The Bay International Film Festival will offer a diverse range of films not typically screened in mainstream cinemas, providing audiences with access to a wider choice of film and the moving image. This is particularly important for those who may not have the means or the opportunity to travel to larger cities to attend other film festivals. Hi, I'm Darren. I'm the uh, festival director for the uh, film festival. One of my main roles is to uh, source funding, really. So um, we've already got a few partners at the moment, Midland Hotel, uh, Real Cinema. It's, um, it's an ambitious project um, and it's growing all the time. And, you know, we're very excited about that. Got a lot of um, you know people working as volunteers at the moment as well. It's just really great. Um, we're always looking for more support, more people involved. The more doors open, and the more um, you know exciting things we can bring. My name's Matt Panish. I'm the event coordinator for the festival. Um, the dream was with Stanley Kubrick uh, to get people to travel to the cinema. Um, there are only a few directors that I would travel to see. One's Chaplin, the other one's Kubrick. And so that was the idea behind it, really. Um, bring people to Morecambe to watch Stanley Kubrick films. And then out of that, we contacted Jan Harlin, who's Stanley Kubrick's brother-in-law and was the executive producer of all of the films from Clockwork Orange until Eyes Wide Shut. So we've got Jan coming up doing a Q&A after Full Metal Jacket. I'm currently coordinating the short film competition, uh, which is going, um, which will be going during our festival in October. Uh, we are going to bring uh, two programs of short films, uh, which are coming from uh, many, many countries of the world, and it's so exciting. And I know probably not many people in the area are much aware of such form as a short film, because they're not showing short films in mainstream cinema. So I kind of want to share this with people and hopefully they will like our short films. Don't underestimate it. There are a lot of very good contenders going on at this film festival. I was not expecting a lot of the applicants to be of this quality. I've had the uh, privilege to watch quite a few of them. And honestly, there are a lot of things to look forward to. So this is the Midland Hotel where we're going to be doing our opening. Uh, Jan Harlan's going to be delivering a, a little speech here. Uh, we're also going to have the film forum there and this is also where we're going to have our awards ceremony. I am really looking forward to just the wide selection of films. It's also nice to see uh, the various producers um, and people in the industry that are going to be there uh, and it'd be quite nice to have a chat with a couple of them. So I'm really excited for this festival to come to London because we have so many local universities that have an abundance of filmmakers that are really excited to get involved within the community and you know, create films and so it's a really great way for them to get involved within the industry and talk to local and international filmmakers to really get a grip of that industry experience. As you can see it is a beautiful bay and I really hope that we can show everyone that and that we have some great fun. Uh, I think it's a good idea. I think it will attract a lot of people, uh, customers to cinemas, uh, tourists possibly as well, as long as the word gets spread well enough. Yeah. And it's just in general nice for Morecambe because it's not something that I don't, I don't think Morecambe usually has that sort of thing, opportunity. So, yeah, I um, think it's good. I hope that you can make it to the festival, that will be great. And uh, to everyone that's coming, I hope that everyone has a great time because uh, I think that we have a great bunch of films and you're going to see how promising uh, the northern filmmakers and international filmmakers are. So the whole thing is going to be marvellous!